Today is Sunday, the 8th of uh, December. Um, it is the end of the official part of the two-day side event that we do every year. This is the 12th time we're doing it. It's called Development and Climate Days. We do it uh, on the Saturday, Sunday, in the middle of the two-week long COP when people can relax a little bit. Off-site, we rent a nice place. We did it at the Country Club in Lima, which is a very nice premise. Um, and we spent two days on the theme of zero, zero, namely zero emissions and zero poverty. Uh, we started off with a very powerful panel with uh, people like uh, Fahana Yamin, uh, Yoba Sokona, Chris Fields from IPCC. We had a variety of uh, interactive games. We had some interactive sessions. We had uh, young people, we had old people, we had some game playing. Uh, we had a, a big art sculpture, Inyante it's called, uh, with using plastic rubbish bags recycled into a, a vast art, art sculpture, which is great fun, heated up by solar energy. And in the last session, we had a high-level panel with uh, Helen Clark, the head of UNDP, the Peruvian minister, Mr. Manuel uh, Pulgar Vidal, uh, the UN Secretary General's uh, representative on climate change, Selwyn Hart, uh, the UN Framework Convention Secretary's uh, Chief of Staff, Daniel, and also Michael Jacobs, who was a previous uh, advisor to the British Prime Minister and is now an advisor to the French government on Paris next year. We had a very lively discussion about how do we raise the level of ambition to zero, zero. We are not getting any pushback at all on the notion of zero, zero. People are liking it. People are supporting it. The question is, how do we make it happen? Because we're not making it happen at the moment. So it's all about raising ambition. We, the four organizers of the event this year, IIED, ODI, CDKN, and the Red Cross Climate Center, are determined to go ahead and continue with this. We will be taking this issue to Sendai at the meeting in Japan in March on disaster risk reduction, at the meeting in July in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia on financing development, and then the two big meetings, which are September in New York at the General Assembly on Sustainable Development Goals and the final one in Paris in December on the UNFCC new treaty that we hope will be agreed there. So a lot of work to be done, but we found that this resonates and we will be pushing this uh, agenda forward. I added one uh, additional zero, which is from my personal perspective, uh, in addition to zero emissions and zero poverty, I also want to add zero patience. This is my 20th COP. I've been coming to, to the COPs for 20 years, and that's enough. We need to take ac action now and not wait any longer.